Hi, and welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty for knowledge, that is. We like to run a program every last Thursday of the month. And today's program is focused on the 1030 laser. And my partner here today is John Moran, who is our product specialist at Mid-Atlantic Machinery. Welcome, John. Thank you, Dave. John, the Trump laser has many different machines at different platform levels. Where does the 1030 fall into place? Uh, the 1030 is kind of the base machine. All the other machines are built off the 1030. Um, the 1000, 3000, 5000 series, they all have the same frame. They have the same control, the same pallet changer. So the 1030 laser is the first platform that we're building from. Is it available in other sizes and what wattages is it available in? Yes, you can get these in 2,000, 4,000, 6,000 watts. And table size, they start at five foot by 10 foot. That's a nominal size. There's a 13 foot long and also a 20 foot long. So we adequately handle that size range. Is automation available, John? Yes, there's several, several options to load and unload your raw material. There's also storage options and of course uh, different part removal systems. And of course every 1030 laser and sister models all come with a pallet exchanger as is a given with all of our machines. Right. Now the 2030 laser is a machine we haven't mentioned. What would be the advantage of the 2030 as opposed to the 1030? Uh, the 2030 is good for lower production, make stuff on the shop floor. Um, you're able to draw parts on the control. You can program them, nest them, rearrange them. Uh, without owning any software, you can produce parts on a 2030 without much effort at all. So for the customer who doesn't want to have an operator and a programmer and doesn't maybe have as much capacity restraint he may be satisfied to just move in the direction of a 2030 if he doesn't need to highly automate. Yep. Okay. So moving forward, if we wanted to program this machine offline, what software options do we have? Uh, the most common is Trump Software Boost. Uh, it's made to work with these machines. It handles all the different platforms, the newest machines, the older machines. Um, if you're a Trump customer with other Trump machines, the Trump software is the way to go. So that common platform of boost software would work not only with the lasers, but also with the press brakes and the punch presses and tube lasers as well? Yep, it ties them all together. Okay. If you have a shop with various different manufacturers in it, you'd consider Metamation. Uh, Metamation uh, can program, you know, different companies, punches, water jets, other than Trump? Yes. So yes. that's the advantage of Metamation. So we have both options covered. So moving forward, what options on the machine do customers value the most when we look at uh, the tech line and other, other options such as that? Probably the most popular options are drop and cut, detect line, cool line, and the automatic nozzle changer. So what would be the advantage of having the automatic nozzle changer? Would that only be if you were automating the machine or does it come in handy regardless? It's, it's actually very handy on all the machines at any level of productivity. Um, number one, it keeps track of what's in the head. So instead of relying on an operator to switch items between different jobs, the machine takes care of it for you. It puts a timer on each nozzle. You can see how much they get used. If something happens, it can switch them out automatically. And the other thing is, because it switches them automatically, it torques them to the proper value. You don't have to rely on a man who over tightens them or under tightens them and causes more problems that way. If the machine does it, it's consistent every time. And when we're finished with a nozzle and it goes back in the tray, is that a nozzle that we can later inspect for use possibly at a later date? Yes, the, the machine keeps track of the time on each nozzle. And when the time is up, you'll get an alarm. You can go in and inspect it. If it's good, you reset the timer and you're back in business. That's great. So if you expect it to 
encounter a little more splatter on something such as aluminum, you would know that you can set a frequency to perhaps change that nozzle out more, more frequently than you would on stainless steel. Yes, you can. You can control the amount of time between each inspection. And you can also load up the nozzle changer with as many of the same nozzle as you want. As the time expires, it'll switch nozzles and keep right on going. So that would be a tremendous advantage if you were having a long run and you were an OEM and you knew that you were going to have common parts and run common material throughout the night, you could still change out the nozzle for the best pro productivity, the best results, the best quality to maintain that. That's great. So when we, when we look at laser cutting with fiber light, what's changed over the years? Because with CO2, we, we avoided aluminum, we avoided copper, we avoided brass. Shiny materials were really the enemy to the resonator. Now it seems like there's no issue not only cutting them, but cutting thicker levels of those materials. Can you expand on that? Yeah, the, the biggest difference between CO2 and fiber is the wavelength of the light that's produced. Uh, the original wavelength from CO2 was easily reflected by copper, brass, and sometimes even aluminum and stainless. The, the wavelength of light that's produced by a fiber laser is absorbed by copper and brass, which allows you to cut those materials. Um, the other main difference is the diameter of the fiber beam is smaller. So you get a higher heat density, which allows you to cut faster with the same amount of power. So with that heat density, we were able to cut thinner materials at, at the beginning of the fiber existence, if you will, as it broke into the market at very high rates of speed. But we later were able to capitalize on cutting thicker materials. How did we accomplish that? Well, there's a, a technology called Brightline. And um, what we've done is we actually send two different size beams to the machine. Uh, the, the fiber optic light cable is actually like a coax cable for your cable TV. It has an inner core and an outer sheath. The inner core contains the smaller diameter beam. You can also switch to the outer diameter, which has a larger beam. Maybe this would be a good time to show our customers a part or two that we can cut on the machine here? Yes, we can do that. Okay. This is a program we have loaded up. It's seven gauge steel and we're gonna be cutting it with oxygen. Uh, we're cutting 3 16th hot rolled pickled and oiled steel. We're using oxygen as the assist gas. Our cutting speed is 137 inches a minute and we're piercing through the material in a little over a tenth of a second. So John, it looked like a beautiful cut that you had on that part. Is that seven gauge carbon steel? Yep, seven gauge hot rolled, pickled and oiled, and we were cutting it with oxygen. Wonderful. So great results that we can get off this machine, thin to thick. Uh, what do we do for support on this machine? What is available for service and support? Well, there's several different options available. Um, the machine is equipped with telediagnostics. So if, it, if you're uh, on the internet, uh, Trump can dial into the machine, see what's going on, they can see the program, they can see the control, and diagnose problems that way. Of course, there's traditional phone support. You can always call uh, Trump service and speak to somebody. Do they have any apps available? Yes, they do. They have, uh, there's a service app where if you know you need a service call, um, you can go on your phone, and register a case and they'll contact you, text you. Um, there's also the visual assistant. Um, it's just like FaceTime. They can look at the machine, see what you're doing, and speak with you that way. Uh, of course, there's service technicians who can come on site and look at your machine in person. And then there's also our own care program where we partner with Trump. Uh, local people like myself, we can show up um, and see your problem in person, help you decide if it's a service problem versus a, 
just an operator problem, a lack of training. So you can help sort out those uh, difficult situations for an early starter in the business where they may not be aware of whether it's an application driven issue or a service issue. You can yep. help sort that out. A lot of times uh, when two people are speaking on the phone, there's a little miscommunication. You know, they're using different terms, trying to describe something incorrectly and having someone there in person to actually see it clarifies the issue. Um, somebody who's well versed in speaking with Trump uh, can use the terms that they're going to recognize. That's great. So John, are you on the road pretty much five days a week? Yeah, all the time. That's great. So you're there for our customers and we have numerous product specialists in addition to yourself that gives Mid-Atlantic more support in the field to follow up on great machines like this Trump machine. The um, post-production was the one thing that I meant to refer to earlier. When you called up the part on the screen, you had a series of parts actually nested. So with that dynamic nest, can you have any flexibility with that if you bent a part backwards or you had one that didn't come out right? Yeah, that's what the whole post-production feature is about. Um, you can have a program uh, kind of like this one that has you know 40 different parts on the sheet one of them gets messed up at the press break you can grab that single part re-nest it on any size blank it'll be cut exactly the way your original part was and you get a nest like this of just the individual parts you can mix and match parts or cut a single part anything you'd like to do well it's a great machine at a great price and we look forward to bringing this machine closer to you. We welcome you to come to our showroom, either in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or up to Farmington, Connecticut, to join us at Trump to run your parts on the machine. And John and I would love to visit with you, along with any of our other reps that are appropriate at the time. Thank you for joining us for Thirsty Knowledge Thursday, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.